Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. Here's where I left off on this one last week. It's really getting close to being done. It's going very quickly because I'm not gluing. I just can stick it down. So that makes it a little bit faster. But I only have a couple weeks until the deadline on this and I'm going out of town this week. So that one is a priority. And this mosaic, which I am loving and really wanting to push on, I don't know how much I'll be able to get done this week. There's no deadline, so it's gonna get pushed back, I think. And over here, I've got all these smalls on this table. What I'd really like to do is maybe prep one of these pumpkins to bring with me and make it a pretty minimal project, maybe with tempered glass so I don't have to bring my nippers. We'll see. All right, so I'm getting ready to prep this for my trip and I decided I was gonna paint it because I think the tempered glass I'm using is slightly translucent. And uh, I've got these old acrylic paints. They're sort of the craft variety of paint and they're really old. So I'm not sure how this will go. This one is nice and thick, but that one was really runny. Anyway, here we go. this project now that I've painted it and the paint has dried you can see that this is a little bit metallic I wanted the metallic gold on there and I think I'm gonna be adding a little bit of glitter in here but not a whole lot but I want to put the beads on that are gonna go here and then I'll be filling in with this tempered glass I've used it before uh, it's nice to bring when I travel because I don't need to cut it and it's really easy and it's just one thing and it's in a nice jar so it's vase filler. I think I found it at a craft store. But anyway, back to what I was doing. So I'm gonna just use e, E6000 for this part. When I add the tempered glass, I'll be using weld bomb. my E6000 and my beads out, I decided to go ahead and put beads on the stem. So I'm going to do that. Now I am planning on grouting this, which is why I was using these beads. Uh, one word of caution, I just want to say there are some beads, I think these gold ones are painted, and if you go to grout with them, the paint comes off. And also these colored pearls from Michaels, uh, while they're beautiful, they are also painted and the color will come off with the grout. So uh, I've used some of these in projects where I it's an indoor project and I don't grout, but for this one I needed something that I can grout without it getting ruined.
My vacation to Ohio to visit my son has started. I found this huge mosaic at the National Museum of the United States Air Force in Fairborn, Ohio. For part of my vacation, I went to Columbus, Ohio, where the Annunciation Greek Orthodox Cathedral is located. The cathedral is full of symbolism in the architecture and art that serves to aid in worship to God. The main dome has an icon of Christ the Panto Crater at its apex. Surrounding Christ are 24 Old Testament patriarchs from the genealogy of Christ. Under that are the four corners supporting the dome with the four evangelists, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And I'd like to point out how shimmering that gold is as a backdrop behind those evangelists. It was just stunning from the floor. The mosaics were made by mosaic maestro Bruno Salvatore of Florence, Italy, and have roughly five million pieces of glass and marble. Above the main gate is the it was a mosaic of the Last Supper, which was absolutely stunning. And through the gate and the apse of the altar was a mosaic of the Virgin Mary with the Christ child. And that icon is known as the Platitera Ton Ueron, which I found on their website. Uh, the gate itself has is made of brass and has the four evangelists and their sim symbolic forms. So it's Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And then the screen had six icons of different saints. And on these, I'd like to point out again, the dramatic folds, the color variation in the, in the draping of the cloth. How it always goes from, from dark to light in the bold colors. And then on the wings of these angels with the purple, it's just stunning. mosaic ended up being the perfect project for my trip. It was so easy. I just finished it when I was basically when I was waiting around for other people to get ready in the morning or maybe when we returned from something if we had a little bit of downtime. I could work on it for maybe five minutes and get about this much done. So each section only took maybe 15 minutes. So it was great for vacation. That's putting it together. Thanks for watching. See you next time.